What up, Mugman Nation? Sorry I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. I got pretty sick. I had a pretty bad cough, and I just couldn't do my usual voiceovers and stuff, so I had to take a little break, and I apologize. But, I, hey, I'm back, and I'm better than ever. And I got a challenge for you guys today. Shouts out to Chicken Ninja 42 for this one. I'll be doing the Cursed Relic run. And how the Cursed Relic works is you have one HP, and it just gives you a random weapon every time you stop shooting. He actually completed the game five times in order to complete this challenge, but I figured out you could just go into the save file and change these truths to false is true to false true these trues to falses there we go i'm gonna go with that let's see how hard this challenge is expert by the way let's get started starting off with botanic panic i really got nothing to say about this boss it's even it's it's really easy even with the cursed relic the hardest part was finding a weapon i actually wanted to use for it you know i mainly wanted to use a spreader because the spreader on this boss just shreds it man just grates it up once i get to the carrot i hop on the roundabout and take out the carrots and stuff like that honestly when in doubt roundabout it up that's the one thing i've learned from this challenge and eventually it does go down man and that's botanic panic not much else to say about that need i say more that's botanic panic man what can i say easiest boss in the game next we have mr ribby and mr croak i don't know i don't know what else to call him ribby and croaks and i'm just gonna run out to him with the spreader as soon as the the boss starts because you have a little time before he actually starts attacking you and then i use crack shot to take out the fireflies but then i try and switch to roundabout because well, you know hey you know what i say when in doubt roundabout it out this is the best best weapon in the game and it works for any boss i love this weapon guys go use roundabout if you're having trouble with anything okay roundabout is the goat the second phase i just use whatever i can get because i can get to him closely and you know everything's gonna hit him no matter what i use the roundabout lobber crack shot you know use whatever you want in this phase it's, it's very easy the third phase i'm once again just looking for the roundabout just because roundabout it out i don't know what else to say it's the best weapon in the game it's goaded in my own opinion with the roundabout i'm able to do tons of damage while just still dodging the platforms very very good weapon to use in this in my opinion because i can't really aim while i'm dodging i have to focus on dodging you know so I, it's just really nice to be able to just keep doing damage even while you're dodging it's op uh, man come bad. on just use broke. it easy money easy money baby third is my main man goop ligron hey i love this guy probably the easiest boss in the game you can use whatever you want on him. a little blue ball that just jumps around then that's all he does until about his third phase so honestly you can use whatever you want on him i just dodge the giant head attack he uses just by ducking it's, it's a really easy boss and then yeah his second phase he just jumps around some more i like using twist up for this part actually because twist up was pretty nice twist up could hit him while he was jumping around and then the third phase comes and he turns into a giant tombstone and i like like this part here because check this out spreader ex and then i use my convergence ex and then i get spreader ex like four more times in a row i do tons of damage with it super op ex easy like i got spreader four times in a row it doesn't get any easier than that man let's go Hildeberg is up next on the chopping block, the first plane level of the game. And in my opinion, Cursed Relic makes these plane levels a lot easier. I can't explain why. I think I was just on my A game today. I was just dodging everything. And the parody ring is also very good just because you, know, you get extra health. Like every time you parry something, you get, you get a little bit of health and it tops you off. And I would mainly just use the pea shooter just to fire it up. I don't know. I just held on the shoot button the entire time. Just kept shooting my pea shooter everywhere. Besides the pea shooter, I'd also be using my EXs here and there. Just running through all her phases, you know, the Gemini, the Aquarius. Various, the whatever is this Orion? I don't know. I don't know what that guy is, but you know, I'm just gonna keep rocking, just keep using my pea shooter, going through the motions. You know, guys, I've been fighting these bosses a lot, and I have many more challenges coming, so I'm just keep repeating myself. I don't really know what to say half the time. I feel like I said the same thing every time I fight one of these bosses, but hey, that's me beating Hildeberg. Let's get it. Easy. Hey, that's first try right there. Hildeberg down. Let's go. It's Cagney Carnation time, baby. And dang, this boss was simple with the Cursed Relic. It was pretty clutch being able to switch weapons during the first phase. So I was take, able to take out those weird, like, biting, flying plant guys. While still doing damage to Cagney, I did prefer the Crack Shot for the first phase because I thought it was pretty good. And then during the second phase, hey, you know what my favorite thing to say is when in doubt, roundabout it out. I just roundabouted the rest of the boss. Second phase with the roundabout, super easy. Just got to dodge. Cagney's seed and the boomerang attack. You just dug underneath that, and then Cagney will get a little angry and turn into their final plant form, spreading their vines throughout and then attacking the platforms with said vines. But hey, you know, the vines don't mean anything when you're using the best weapon in the game roundabout. So we should have a little lobber action at the end, and I take out Cagney on my first try. Easy. Cagney finishes first try, baby. Roundabout makes that way too easy. 
Baroness Von Bonbon is the first boss in Isle 2, and this boss is easy. I, you know, the, the waffle, easy money, baby. It's simple. Unless I get my arch nemesis, the cupcake boss. I hate the cupcake boss. They would be better off if cupcakes never existed. God, why did I do that? Why did I press that? Other than that, if I didn't get the cupcake boss, any other mini boss, I'd just be able to shred with the spreader like this like this lollipop or gumball guy. My bad. I'll just take him out. Walk up to her, use my spreader EX during her final phase, and then we get started. I'm using crack shot to begin with, but the only time I really die is if I got mixed by these heads. Oh, I got trapped by the head. I gotta dodge the head, man. But, hey, you already know I'm dodging that head she's trying to give me, and I take her down with you guys already know. The roundabout, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't know the the the, the freaking the freaking peppermint counted towards my purity ring or whatever it's called. Go. Wally Warbles is the second plane boss of this run, and usually Wally Warbles on expert is my kryptonite, man. I hate this boss on expert, but something about the cursed relic had me feeling myself. I don't know. It made me play better because I only had one HP to work with, unless I parried the bird, the the pink bird guys. But I was dodging everything, just, like his egg attack, his bullet attack, and then during his second phase, I just whip out the pea shooter and I just started pea shooting and all over him just non-stop dps baby big damage dodging the feathers and then i'm on to the third phase with the with the big headed baby bird brain guy i don't know and once again i'm just gonna pea shooter him like parry his bullets he shoots and then when his uh, eggs like go around him i switch to my bomb so i continue doing damage and this phase was so easy because i was just stacking hell due to the parody ring that i had because of the cursed relic you know and then i get to the fourth phase with four hp because i was just pairing everything i had a full stick of butter another ex cars to do a bomb and i just i wiped the floor with him and i s rank wally warbles first try baby let's go insane w let's go that's s rank wally warbles with the cursed relic baby that's easy money why not follow up wally warbles with jimmy the great the third plane boss of this run and i don't know man i don't know if it's i don't know what it is about the cursed relic but i'm convinced the cursed relic is goaded for these plane levels man like i'm just i'm wiping the floor with these plane bosses every time the first phase too easy the second phase i mean the cursed relic doesn't make it easier i just use the bombs to one shot the little little totem faces so i can get through them this this third phase i just bomb them and i take them out in like 10 seconds super easy phase i don't take any damage during the puppet phase, because of the parody ring, I'm just pairing every pink blob he shoots out, and I'm dodging the turban and the turban bullets it shoots out. And I just stack some health, get, like, get it done. This third phase wasn't hard. I'm just, you know, once again, using my pea shooter. And then during the fifth and final phase, I just sit down here and use my pea shooter, use my bomb EX to dodge his attacks. And I almost S rank in my first try, but I got hit the very last minute. May a big L, big L. Oh, I got hit at the very last second. Still easy money. Almost another S rank. Hey, maybe Curse Relic is built for these plane levels. We're back onto the normal bosses. And in this one, we are taking down Beppy the Clown. And mainly for the, you know, for this little phase when he's jerking off in the bumper car, I just use the roundabout. When in doubt, roundabout it out, you know. Parry what I can so I get that extra health. During the second phase, I whip out the twist up because, you know, any boss that's above you, twist up is pretty good. And honestly, I did sleep on twist up in my run, guys. I love twist up now. It's a pretty good weapon. During the third phase, I use use the roundabout until I can get underneath him and then I just use any weapon I can get on this one I use the lobber for the lobber traps and I just keep lobbing my balls at Beppy you and then he goes down you know he just goes back up and he turns into his little final form of a big old carousel and I made a pretty cool discovery I never really used convergence but convergence was actually really good for taking out those penguins the penguins are about the hardest thing about this final phase so anything that takes out those penguins is good enough for me go try it out guys go try using convergence for Beppy the clown okay let me know how it goes Easy. Well, not too easy, but still easy money, baby. Baby the clown down. I thought Grim Matchstick on Expert would suck because, you know, I just don't really like this boss on Expert. But with the Cursed Relic, you have an abundance of weapons at your fingertips, which was really nice. I always go back to the old reliable roundabout because, you know, when in doubt, roundabout it out during the first phase. And then once the first phase is over, I whip out the best weapon for Grim Matchstick, the lobber, and I just start lobbing my balls all over Grim Matchstick, man. And I tell you what, it melts him. Once I discover the lobber tech for Grim Magic, this boss got a lot easier. And I thought I'd be using the lobber for the final phase, but I had trouble dodging the flames with the lobber, so I opted for the pea shooter and the convergence. I actually really like convergence for this final phase because it took out the fireballs very quickly, and then I was able just to pea shooter him, or you know, just use the convergence some more. Guys, go try out convergence for Grim Magic. Go try it out. 
Let's go. Hey, Convergence wasn't too bad for that, actually. I like Lobber and I like Convergence. That was thick. Easy money. Rumor Honey Bottoms shall start our Isle 3 conquest. And the oi, oi, oi phase goes very smoothly. Very easy phase. You can just use whatever weapon you want. I like Pea Shooter Crack Shot for this part. Because, you know, just two very solid weapons. And then during the second phase, I just roundabout it out during all her attacks. You know, I get the rocket attack twice, which is very lucky. And I only get the ball attack. No purple Dorito attack this time. Which I feel like I did kind of want. Because the parody ring uh, would have given me a lot of health. Because I was going to a lot of parries off. And then during this third transformation because i know it's the last time i'm going to see this i switched to my spreader just to get big damage out and if you guys didn't know during this part you can get a lot of damage off so i switched to the spreader just to try and get as much damage as i can to make this final phase a lot easier and it really made it a lot easier i was using lobber for a second but then i just prefer the crack shot for this final part and i just crack shot it out you know i'm, I'm cracking up i'm cracking out baby let's get it oh wow that was really easy easy money baby let's go Dr. Cal is the second to last plane boss. And if you're doing Dr. Cal on Expert, check this out. You can go straight to his antenna, use your pea shooter, and take it out before it, it, anything even comes out. Easiest appendage to break. And then I go down for the little uh, hanger down below. And then I go for the middle, revealing his heart. And then I just use my pea shooter on his heart and doing tons of damage. I get pretty good RNG that, that round, actually. And then for the second phase, just use your bomb on the head. It takes it out really quickly. And guys, I tell you what, I was gaming out of my mind during this final phase. I wanted to S rank it so bad. I need to hit those parries, and I tell you what, I do. I'm parrying everything. I'm dodging the crystals. I think Dr. Cal is one of my best bosses, and I think it shows right here. Guys, go use the curse rug on Dr. Cal. For some reason, I made it a lot easier. I feel like I S-ranked in my first try, baby. Let's go. That's easy money. Simple. Oh, my. First try S rank Dr. Cow, baby. That's easy money. Let's go, baby. Sally stage play is kind of a resident sleeper type boss. It's not my favorite and it's not that fun, but it's very easy to do. You know, I just whip out the spreader, stand right next to her and do big deeps. I don't know what else to say. Just use the spreader on this phase. And guess what I'm going to use for the second phase, guys? Let me know in the comments. What do you think I'm going to use? Oh, it's going to be the spreader. Of course. I'm just going to stand right next to her and sp spread some more. I don't know. Spread out all over her. Spread her down. Spread her. Spread her. Spread her rules. Woohoo. Go spreader spreader i hardly know her and then you know the next phase surprise surprise spreader again spreader's goaded spreader's op break the meteor to release the star and people were roasting me in my 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 twist up challenge for the for the meteor but uh whatever whatever the meteor the meteor sucks i hate that mechanic and then during this final phase you can use whatever weapon you want as long as it does damage you know but i always go back to my trusty spreader baby check this out sally stage play down oh sally stage play easy money baby baby easy money this, this run's going pretty good we're almost it is officially verner vermin time baby another easy boss probably the easiest boss in the game man look at look how easy is all right maybe it's not that easy but you already know when in doubt round about it out it makes the first phase simple you know that's all you gotta do just keep shooting your roundabout dodge whatever he throws at you parry the platforms he shoots out jump right over his head and just keep using that roundabout and during the second phase hey you already know i'm bopping out the trusty lobber spreader combo the lobber was pretty good for the beginning and then eventually once it goes down i switch to my spreader and i start spreading all over this dang German rap man and I'm take him out very quickly and we're on to the final phase and surprise surprise I'm gonna use the spreader again for the final phase just because it's so goaded roundabout spreader combo hey that could take you a long way and yeah there goes Werner Vermin let's go Hey, Werner Worman, still easy money, baby. We're moving. Captain Briny beer time. And I don't know what it is about like that three like string of bosses, you know? Sally stage play, Werner Vermin, and Captain Briny beer. There's I feel like the most the, the most forgettable bosses in the game. Anyone else agree? Let me know in the comments. I mean, they're not boring boss fights at all, but you know, when I think of the game, I just never think of those three bosses. Just because I think they're getting close to King Dice and they have to add some more bosses, of course, and maybe it's just a little bit forgettable. I don't know. Hey, you already know what I'm gonna do for this boss. Rolling in doubt, roundabout it out. There's just, need I say more? Need I say more? I just use the roundabout. I go up to him. I use twist up during the final phase. I'm going to use twist up again right under the uvula. Dodge those fireballs. Dodge the laser. Dodge the barrel. Just keep dodging and keep DPS. And you can use the laser. You can use twist up right underneath them. It's very easy. You guys can do it too. I believe in you. Go be Captain Briny Beard, please. Let's go. First try, Briny Beard. Easy money. Mommy Maria is up next. Oh, my ma. Look at her. My girl is looking 
perfect today. But sadly, Mommy Maria, I'm sorry. I gotta take you out. And I'm gonna mainly just use the pea shooter for this. If you guys didn't know, if you shoot every shot with your pea shooter, it'll do more DPS than the bombs. So if you wanna get done with the boss a little bit faster, try using one of the pea shooter. I use my bomb EX whenever I can. And another plus about this boss is a lot of stuff you can parry. So with the parody ring, you're, you're gonna be stacking health nonstop. Okay. And then during the second phase, just keep using my pea shooter, keep using my bomb EXs. You know, you're gonna be turned to stone a couple of times from her gaze. But it's okay, you know, there's a lot of stuff to pair. You're gonna be stacking a lot of health. It's all good. And then during the final phase, you're just taking out Mommy Maria's floating head, dodging the skulls. Very easy boss fight on Expert, actually, guys. Especially with the Cursed Relic. Go try it out. If you're having trouble with these boss on Expert, use the Cursed Relic. Let's go! We're almost done with the challenge. I thought this would be a lot harder. What's happening? We are almost done with this challenge, and we are finally on Phantom Express. Woo woo. Convergence is amazing for this first phase. Check this out. It hits the boss, and it hits all the eyeballs. I can get as close as I want to him, and I have no fear of the eyeballs hitting me. Just shreds them. During this second phase, I opt to use Twist Up, and I think Twist Up is the best weapon for Phantom Express. Check this out. You can hit the second phase, this little skull, from any angle you want in the middle. You just camp the middle, parry the uh, the little blocks and you're good to go twist up also goaded for the third phase wow the boss is above you twist up hits things above you why not let it rock with the twist up i don't really like this weapon but i tell you what it's been growing on me guys twist up is actually good i, I was capping in my in my run and then i'm just gonna rock the crack shot for this final phase because crack shots busted you can dodge and still do damage come on go use try try the combination for this boss fight out let's go I can try Phantom Express with the Cursed Relic, baby! You know our journey is coming to an end when you see Big Daddy dice. And I'm gonna opt in for the Whiskey Troop as my first boss because I had a pretty good theory where I could use conversions to clear this easily. But as you can see, I am not getting the RNG I needed, which was the first time I got bad RNG on the Cursed Relic. But eventually I do get the Roundabout and hey, you know you know me, when in doubt, Roundabout it out. It also works for the Whiskey Troop. I want to try conversions, but sadly I didn't get it. But that's okay. The next boss is gonna be the Rabbit in the hat i kind of forgot the name let me know in the comments i forgot the name of this boss i'm sorry i chose this boss because there's stuff you can pair you can pair the suits i wanted to get some safety so i could you know do the next boss pretty easily because this next boss is the hardest boss in the game oh i'm just kidding it's mangosteen i got nothing else to say about this boss i'm just gonna skip right to me killing it and check this out the curse rogue is really good for this final phase because look at all these parries you can get with the parody ring i get three hearts just right off the bat just from the first wave and it gives me a big enough cushion that i can clutch out king dice on my first try big dps baby let's go let's go king dice down baby it's just the devil this challenge is easy let's get it let's get it we are finally at the end of our challenge here and the only difficulty i had with the devil was the fact that i only had one hp and a lot of his uh attacks are kind of hard to dodge so I, I struggled with the first phase a little bit but once i made it past the first phase honestly it, it was a cakewalk but here i'm just using whatever weapon i can get because i'm switching a lot i'm mainly hoping for spreader the first phase we actually breeze through because of the parries and we have two hp and we're on to the next phase and this phase i just use the twist up because it's right in front of me you know why the heck not parry the bomb that comes out of the ear this phase isn't too hard he's got to watch out for the chips and watch out for the battle axe and then during this next phase i like taking one of his little guardians out and then I, you know i just keep using my spreader keep using my spreader exs and i did no parry so i got another health which helps me survive this hit right here and then i go into the final phase with twist up and i shred this final phase guys let's go the challenge is finished baby we've beaten the game with the cursed relic let's go let's go Yes! Yes! It only took me an hour and a half to do this challenge! And that's it for the Cursed Relic Challenge, baby. It only took me an hour and a half to beat. A lot easier than I expected it to be, guys. Go try out the Cursed Relic. This challenge was a lot of fun because I was using weapons I never thought I'd use. Let me know what challenge you want to see me do next. I'm going to try and beat the game with about every weapon in the game. And then, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Let's keep rocking. Keep it pushing. Subscribe to my YouTube. Follow me on TikTok. All my social medias are up top. Thank you, everyone. See ya. I don't know what else to say. How do I end this video? Ah!